Question six. A shop sells greetings cards. Each card has a price code on it. These are the codes. And if ever you do go into a, a card shop to buy a birthday card or a Christmas card, then you will actually find that this is really what happens in card shops. They do have codes on the back and different codes are different prices. So this is a real life question. So we've got code double A is 75p, double B is £1.15, CC is 155, DD is 170, and E is 199. What have we got to do? It says Tina buys two cards. One has code AA on it and the other has code DD on it. How much does she pay? Well, AA is 75p and DD is £1.70. Now the problem we've got here is that they are in different formats. This one's in pence and this one's in pounds. So first of all we need to change them into the same format. So 75p you could also write 0 0.75 pounds like that. And now what we've got to do is add them together. So we've got 75p or 0 0.75 pounds in other words and £1.70 if we add them together using a simple column method, we will get the total price that she has to pay. 5 plus 0 is 5. 7 plus 7 is 14. Carry the 1. 0 plus 1 is 1. Plus 1 is 2. Don't forget to put your decimal point and your pound sign in. So Tina is paying £2.45. We've got to give an answer in pounds because there is a pound sign in the answer. So there's no point turning £1.70 into 170 pence and working the answer out in pence because we've got to give our answer in pounds. Let's get a different colour for part two of the question. This time it says Omar buys a card, he pays with a £2 coin, he gets 45 pence change. What is the code on his card? Well, if we take 45 pence off of his two pounds we'll figure out what he actually paid so two pounds is the same as 2.00 like that and 45 pence is the same as 0.45 pounds like that so let's work out what he paid zero take away five we can't do so we need to borrow one from the next column but we can't borrow from there because that's a zero as well so we need to borrow one from the two and that makes the middle zero 10 there. So now we can borrow from this 10 because we need to get something over in this column. So borrow one from the 10 to make nine and the one that we've borrowed makes that one 10. 10 take away five is five. Nine take away four is also five. And one take away zero is still one. Don't forget your point and don't forget your pound sign. So this means he must have paid, so he must have paid £1.55. So the question is, what is the code on the card that matches £1.55 that he paid? Quick look up at the, the price list. £1.55 is this one here. So the code on his card must have been CC. So CC is what we need to write on the answer line. And there's your two answers. £2.45 was what Tina paid and CC was the code on his card.